Hello there, didn't see you come in. So let's create this amazing system, this menu system. I'll attach a file that has a few notes so that you can follow this on your own. This is the system we're creating with a nice cursor. Selection. I, I, I'm sorry about any noises that my chair makes. The chair is like 200 years old. It's a fossil. Okay, and you, you can save. Uh, all of this is customizable by you. This is just my example, my, my attempt. Okay, moving, moving along. Let's add a scene. And this scene is going to be our main map. The place where our player is, where he lives. A little house on a prairie with a bunch of cactus or cacti. I never know. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an English speaker. And we're going to start by uh, adding the menu call. We want to call the menu, so we want to call a script to a button. In this case, a script to a button, press uh, start, to a start press. We'll put the start press, and here you go, a bit of noise maybe. Okay, and after that we're going to remove the script. This is a, a way to clean up after, after our mess. Otherwise we're going to loop up the, the things. And it's going to be a terrible mess. After that we're going to store the current scene on stack and this stores your player's Y and X coordinates. 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 Okay, creating a new, a new scene. This is going to be our uh, main menu. I'm going to put I'm going to put our player in a little collision box so he can't move. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's hide the actor. We don't want to see him. If you want, okay, but I don't. Let's attach a screen, uh, I mean a script to the, to the Twitch button. To the up, down, to the save and to the, the B. In this case, let's go to the up. Let's remove the script like we did earlier, we, we're going to do this for, for like a hundred times. This is, uh, this is good proper cleaning methods in Gibby Studio right here. And after that, we're going to store the current scene on stack so we can switch to the items menu. Menu. I love my, my fucking language. All right. You can place a little collision box like I did here around so the, the cursor doesn't, doesn't move more than I want to. And there we will move the, the starting player to that position. And we're going to put the up setting there because we forgot. Okay. New scene. The item scene. Each little box is going to be our item and we're going to use a trigger in this case. We can also use actors. I, I can explain this a bit later. Let's add an event for a button press. We want each time that the player goes around or over the, the trigger, we want him to press A to select it. And after that, we're going to remove the script like we did earlier except for B, so we can go back to the main menu. This is optional, of course. Everything is optional in Gibby Studio. After that, we'll check if the player, in this case the cursor, is at this determined position. And we can check this on the upper left screen. In this case, it's like 7 or 9, 7. Yeah, okay. So it checks if we are clicking A on that position. We, you have to change this for every uh, different trigger or item. Okay, you chose item two. Okay, okay, a lot of okays. Moving in the desert, pressing our... Oh, what's this? We forgot to put the cursor. This is just like a, a, a change of uh, sprite. It's easy. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna gonna make a start screen a start script that changes our player to a cursor. I'll attach the image for a cursor. You can do whatever you want with it. It's yours. I give it to you with a lot of love, a lot of love from my uh, English poor, uh, my poor English. Oh my God, sorry. I'm not even Christian. I, I can't even call God. Okay, so let's continue this. Um, I'm going to rename this so it's easier for me. I'm a bit dumb and blind sometimes. Okay. Don't forget ducks. Ah, so we want to press B to go back to the main menu. So let's put a B input and guess what? 10 points if you guess what we're going to do now. Uh-uh. Yeah, you won. We're going to remove all the attached scripts. And we're going to restore to the previous uh, stored scene. If we wanted to go to the first scene, we could. The first scene, it's the first time you, you store a, a, a scene. In this case, it's like the map. It's the map. In fact, it's not like it's in fact the map. All right, let's test this. Green world. And it's a beautiful cursor. Look at that. Looks like Windows back in the 90s when it sucked. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it didn't suck. Some people are aficionados. I won't fight with them. All right, so what's next? Uh, okay, so since we set up the, the sprite to be a cursor, we should like unset it, also the movement speed. We want it to be exactly normal when we go back to the previous scene, in this case the previous scene, the main menu scene. Okay, back to the main menu, we're gonna add a new input for down. So we can go to the configurations, or the mapping, or the controls, or whatever, or the, the cave where the dragon lives, a, a beautiful dragon that protects the princess. And the princess, it's like screaming at the dragon, saying, don't forget to remove the attached scripts, dragon. It's important. After that, we'll just restore, I mean, store the current scene on stack and go to a new scene where we have the mappings of the buttons or the configurations or whatever. Let me just check if everything is all right. It's okay. Okay, switching. Which one of... Okay, I think I know which one of those is the, the one I wanna drag up this, it's always the, the upper left corner. Okay, let's hide the sprite and let's, let's stick the, our, our guy in a little box like we did earlier. There, you won't go anywhere, little man. You'll stay there. Stuck. Okay, and we're, we're going to add a, an option to go back with the B. That's, that's good practice, guys. Oh, and uh, guess what we're going to do after this label? We've played this game so many times, it's boring me already. Let's, let's get over with this quick. What was it? Um, I fucking... Uh, restore. And remove. There. Okay, and that restores to the main menu. This is a, rep a bit repetitive, but as, as you go along, you, you kind of learn stuff. BB Studio works for this, for learning stuff. Okay, saving, we can do this on the main menu itself. We don't even have to go anywhere. Let's remove the scripts here and we'll add a, a save event. Game that save. We can even add like um, a little a little text box reassuring the player that he saved. Game is saving. And 
also don't 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 turn off the the fucking system otherwise you'll get like cloned pokemon fucking monsters okay and give us to the school enough to give us an if game data is saved so we can like warn the player if his game is not saved otherwise it loses half of his pokédex like i did when my batteries died fucking batteries fucking old school retro cartridge fucking settings i'm kidding i love game boys but yeah probably the battery is not not normal if it's not saving nice okay beautiful beautiful code simple enough and uh, we're going to restore to the map you can't you don't have to do this but uh, i'm going to do this uh, i don't like I, I don't want to press a and then a and then b and i just want to save and get over with it so this allows us to go back and there you go save and we're going to do a, a back button we've done that a few times by now so you know how it's done we, we do want to press b <coughs> there goes my tuberculosis tuberculosis i'm not a doctor remove scripts and restore to the map and that's basically it guys you're a coder you're a hacker you're a fucking machine. Let's see what, what we got. I know what we got. We got pure magic. Look at this, so beautiful. So organized. You chose item two. Okay, so after this, I'm gonna show you how to use an actor in this items uh, menu uh, instead of a trigger. The actor has the advantage of using the sprite in, so far, Gibby Studio doesn't use sprites for um, for triggers. Maybe in the future that's changed. I don't know. The the, the devs are awesome. They they can do everything. They're like magic magical wizards. I bet they have a wand. Okay. So I think my uh, my neighbors are fucking. I don't know if you can hear their beds. This is uh, pretty common. Okay, so the the triggers here, the problem with them, it's go they're they're gonna they're gonna not, they're gonna block our cursor. It's gonna be harder to navigate across the UI of the items menu. If you put them, please uh, don't forget to 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 put them as static. Otherwise, they'll go around your screen, and that could be funny, but <laughs> that's not good gameplay, I guess. Imagine your fucking items going around on screen and running away from you. Come here, you fucking sword. Oh, God. Please, please don't use me. I'm worn out. I can't, I can't hit another chicken or another bucket. So, you see, you can't go through them. Ugh. This one you can. Beautiful triggers. Eventually they'll they might find a way to put the sprites on the triggers. I, I believe them. There goes the bed. Sexy is beautiful man. Okay, so thank you for watching this.